So today I want to talk about Brighton, Malot, Malo, whatever. No, you you can't do that. No. So this Brighton, Brighton, however you say your name, fellow, um, decided that he was going to burn an American flag in an act of protest against our nation on account of civil rights injustices and LGBT rights and issues of color and all types of civil rights issues that have happened over the course of our country's time. And you know what? As an LGBT person, I understand your anger, but this was not the right way to do this. You do not burn an American flag. Like, I'm sorry, but our country has not fallen so low and our government has not acted so far against us that we need to be in the streets burning it. You know, you live in a different reality than me, obviously. But I have to tell you that apparently you're a social activist. And that's all fine and good. It's not to say that you haven't been abused and you don't have problems. And when I say abuse, I don't, I'm not talking about physically, though that's probably going to happen now. You know, I'm not saying you haven't been made to feel lesser than a person, because I know that feeling. As an LGBT person, I can relate. However, burning an American flag is disrespectful to our men and women that are LGBT or not, okay, in the service. It's disrespectful to our, to what good is happening. And you know what, when you have all these states, some states are really good, but some of these states some of the top people in charge, governors and, and whatnot, are standing in the way of civil rights and making issues where they don't need to be and trying to declare what marriage is. When, you know, in the meantime, here's the federal government, maybe possibly strongly influenced by Obama's policies and how they're acting, um, you know, and they're the ones that are making sure that this country is right civilly okay they are giving us our civil rights they are making sure we get what we're supposed to have to the best of their ability the federal government short of just stopping everything everywhere and saying this is how it's going to be oh wait a minute they are doing stuff like that they made marriage a non-state issue they took away the state's issue ability to make that their jurisdiction they have done you know I mean, come on, you know, come on. Like, why would you burn an American flag? If you want to bur uh, burn your, your state flag, like, that's, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think anyone really cares about that, quite honestly. I, I, I mean, come on now. If you saw a guy burning an American flag or you saw a guy burning some other flag, would you get out of your car and hit him? Because I might, I might get out of my car, not to threaten anybody, and I'm not really a big tough guy. But if I saw someone burning an American flag, like, I, I would be kind of upset. You know, I'd have to, I'd probably do something. So, but if I saw some other flag, I don't know that it would mean as much. You know, so this is somebody that, you know, this guy got arrested and he was released because apparently it's not against the, it's freedom of speech. And he's a social activist. He's also LGBT. He's, his Facebook says that he's in a relationship with another dude, you know that's fine and good that's great but man your boyfriend should have checked you before you wrecked yourself because that was so stupid like i don't know why why it's so disrespectful like you're not sending anything good that's not a good message that's not a good message like you're the wrong you're the type of people that don't need to be in social activism okay that is not social activism that's just stupidity I don't, you know, I would love to see, you know, you're probably going to be on all these news stations and stuff and, and make a bunch of money now and probably have t-shirts and all that. And you know what? You're also probably going to get beat the hell up. So, you know, and I don't want anyone to get beat up. I don't think that that's necessarily the answer to your, what you did, but it's going to happen. And I don't know that I blame people. Like if some veteran comes up, you know, hopefully he's LGBT too and he just pops you in the face. 
because you you need you need to get a black eye for this. You shouldn't be an activist. There's no uh, you know message you're gonna send that anyone's gonna want to hear that way. That's just hatred, you know. And you might not have meant it that way, but it, it's no. You you can't do that. No. You know, this gives gay, you give gay people a bad name, dude. Like, honestly, you really, that, that's, I mean, nobody, maybe I'm the first person to say that, and that's fine, because that's my opinion, but this is not, you know, not when, not when, you know, you're, you're, there's more problems in the states, governments, than there is in the federal government. That's what that flag is, is our nation, the federal government, Okay. Like, the feds are the ones who are helping make sure that we have equality. They are forcing states to fall in line. They are doing what they are supposed to do for us right now. They may not have done it in the past, but you know what? Maybe you should have burnt that shit 20 years ago, okay? Right now, no. Like, when the whole country is like the Ferguson riots because all minorities and protected class citizens uh, are being beaten and, and mistreated and we're all so angry that we have to rebel against the government. That's the time to burn the flag. That's not today. That is not right now. That is not right now. That's not social activism. That's just, it's just plain disrespect to our country. Like, come on, come on.